Matthew 6, 33 says, Seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. If you're like me, you're energized by accomplishing things at work and in your personal life. I feel energized when there's a challenge before me and I wanna attack it, I wanna win. But maybe you're like this, even deeper in your spirit, you're probably motivated by the call of God on your life. There's an intense desire to be an ambassador for Jesus Christ. You know, one of the most common pitfalls that we see is we get so busy achieving things for God. We got strategies, we have preoccupations, we wanna reach the lost, we wanna do all these things and build stuff, but we get distracted and we forget about actually having a relationship with God. We don't have time to pray, we don't have time to go to church. In fact, we don't even have time to stop and make sure that all these you know, good plans are actually God plans. And so what happens is we get busy chasing all these things, but we stop chasing God. If you're feeling worn out, maybe you're irritated or worried or anxious, remember the proverb that says, the blessing of the Lord makes one rich and he adds no sorrow to it. If you're dealing with the sorrows of a life that's too full of what you're calling the blessings of God, then guess what? It's time to clean out your schedule and get back to the only thing that matters. Don't allow your destiny to get diluted by all the distractions. Seek the face of God, allow Him and only Him to direct your steps today.